was just hanging out at the creek one day with a friend uh, a few years ago and we were just kind of bored and we're talking and my friend mentioned uh, some rock piles that he saw once. And I was like, yeah, I saw those. And uh, we just started kind of doing it ourselves. And um, I don't know, before I knew it, we were out there for a few hours. Um, I'd made maybe like 10 or 15 and uh, it just felt really good, so I kept doing it. Balancing rocks has been practiced on Earth for, I mean, at least thousands of years and all around the world. I find that fascinating because it's kind of a, it's almost a really deep element of the collective unconscious. Um, so I think that is related to why uh, people find it so fascinating. Um, I'll look for various shapes depending on kind of how I want the balance to go. And a lot of times the rock I will find and actually bring or collect and use um, is one that I know can balance. Like before I even put it next to the stack, I'll just find some kind of small notch in the rock that I am absolutely sure will balance. And sometimes it'll take, I mean, anywhere from like a minute to up to half an hour to complete like one balance. It almost never takes that long, but a lot of the challenge it, with those really fine balance points is um, kind of, I guess, leaning in the, into that will to stop like your body mentally and physically sometimes just wants to stop and the hardest part is that gets easier with practice is to just lean into that um, pain or whatever discomfort that it causes. Just the sound of the water rushing by really um, kind of drowns my thoughts out, uh, which kind of helps in the, I guess, meditative process. Um, but yeah, just while I'm actually focusing on that balance point, I'm almost like not even using vision or hearing. It's just uh, feeling, I guess. Yeah, I used to uh, tube a lot, <laughs> but I kind of stopped because uh, as I've been out here balancing rocks, I've seen so many tubers. I mean, it looks pretty fun and all, and I imagine it is, but it just, uh, I don't know, some of the rocks are really unpredictable, and they look like they hurt <laughs> if you drag your butt too low. <laughs>
gravity glue. I do it with gravity glue.